All right, turning now to the most searched for items on the interweb. The interweb? Yeah, I call it the interwebs. interwebs. Okay, <laughs> Nikki Bussey's here with the information. <laughs> Today it seems like everyone, minus one, uh, minus wants one. to know about Snooky's baby. <laughs> minus some people. Some people do want to know about it. But anyway, the, some people. that's right. The pint-sized Jersey Shore and her equally short man gave birth to a tiny Guido this weekend. Snooky and Gianni welcome their first child, get this, a boy named Lorenzo, to be called Enzo. Early Sunday morning, reps for Schnooky say Lorenzo weighed about six pounds, five ounces, and the entire Jersey cast has uh, tweeted their congrats to the tan couple. Six pounds, that's actually a small baby. That's what I was thinking. Well, they're little people though. They're both very short. Mm -hmm. So little petite things. Petite baby for petite people. <laughs> well, coming in at number three on Yahoo is rumored couple, Robert Pattinson and Rihanna. Yeah, that seems like a weird pairing to me, too. Oh, Several publications and gossip sites say the two have been texting and flirting. You know how that goes. Well, the romance comes, of course, on the heels of the end of his relationship to Twilight star, co-star Kristen Stewart, who has admitted to cheating on him with the married director of Snow White and the Huntsman. Also, Rihanna recently admitted in an interview with Oprah, like you see there, that she still loves Chris Brown, despite the assault charges from 2009. Yikes! Drama, drama, drama. Mm -hmm. I thought I thought that uh, Kristen Stewart and Rob might like get back together, but oh. it's like over. It's done. He said he's homeless on an interview with think, one of those late night shows. Ooh, no. Well, does anybody remember Bill Nye the Science Guy? Yes. Yes. Right, and I certainly do because it was a good day in class when mm -hmm. we actually got to watch his show. But his comments about what should be taught in school kind of put him in the spotlight. Nye is asking parents not to teach their kids creationism because he says it's a disservice to them in the country. He says the United States needs, quote, scientifically literate voters and taxpayers for the future. Oh, and he was also declared dead again on Twitter. <laughs> Obviously, he's not. <laughs> Second time for the poor guy. He ain't dead. He's not dead yet. Um, I'm not dead yet. Oh, gosh. That's a hard argument to make. Getting but getting um, dangerous ground mm -hmm. when you start getting in there. Yeah, but he is a science guy, so that's maybe true. that's where his argument comes from. I'm not saying anything, but just... Maybe he'll be Bill Nye the political guy soon. <laughs> Well, Twitter was also on fire today with tweets about a lion in Essex. There you see the alleged lion. Panic spread. It looks like a cat. That's exactly what the police said. They say, you know, people say they saw the lion roaming the streets, heard it roaring, and then this picture surfaced during a, a the massive cat. search. Nothing depicting a lion there, in my opinion, either. Kind of like the Bigfoot pics. Never clear, never in focus. <laughs> Here's the alleged lion. The search has been called off. Like John says, it's people think it's a large cat or a wild cat. It got people talking. I'm telling you, if I saw a lion or a really big cat, that's a big cat regardless. I thought it was a lion. See? We have a believer. Really? Yeah. From like long distance. Did you not have your contacts in or glasses on? I don't on? have my glasses on, but it looked like a lion to me. I just don't understand why they're never clear. I just want a nice clear picture of these alleged things. <laughs> we have digital if they cameras, were clear, people. Right? Come on. If they were iPhones. clear, then you wouldn't have the, the mystery theater part of the whole True. thing in there. Someone snapped the drama, the Twitter. Please. It would go, it wouldn't go crazy. It wouldn't sure. be all over Yahoo, and then again, it wouldn't be trending That's for so your segment. I still want Bigfoot. Someone send it. I believe in Bigfoot too. I do too. No, you. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> John, I do. Anyway. Really? I believe in storms. How about that? Well, More I've believable. Seen real yeah, storms we've before. seen storms. Yes. I've never seen a real Bigfoot. Yeah. Not even on video. But I did see the $6 million man take on Bigfoot one time. Oh, boy. No. They're all just Rob Ellis' next. <laughs> Don't you remember that episode? 